Hello and welcome to this Garrettcon training presentation on Link Aggregation Control Protocol or LACP. Now LACP is used to group uh, ports on a switch together into uh, bundles or groups of ports so that they can act as a single unit, uh, one big fat pipe instead of multiple smaller pipes. And if I show you the, uh, the network as we have it, we are just going to do a very simple LACP demonstration. We're only going to use two switches, one, two, we have a link between the two and these two black cables, one goes to my uh, IP camera which we're viewing these images on and the other one goes to my laptop which we're recording the videos on. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to add the second port in, we're going to group these two together into an LACP group and walk you through the steps you need to do that at the command line. Okay so we're logged into the command line of the uh, switch via the console port, if I just show you that quickly so we're into the uh, second switch, uh, the console port, so we're going to set that up first and then move across to the first uh, just because it happens to be cabled that way. Uh, okay, so the benefits, why use LACP? Just quickly, there's uh, two sort of groups of benefits. There's more throughput. Uh, you can pump more traffic between the switches if you group those um, ports together. So a lot of the uh, inter-switch links, for example, um, are disabled because of spanning tree protocol if you can group this together, Spanning Tree doesn't disable them and you can, uh, instead of having a 100 meg pipe, you get a, a 200 meg, a 300 meg, a 400 meg pipe. So you get more traffic through it, so it's um, that's one of the benefits. Uh, the ports which were previously blocked, which might be blocked say, for, say, Spanning Tree protocol, uh, these can be used, which is uh, another benefit. Reliability, if you group the ports together, if one of those ports goes down, the rest of the ports in the group continue to function. So they can carry on without, regardless of the uh, one of the members of the group dying. Uh, so that improves both reliability and availability. So uh, more traffic between the switches, or you can also set up LACP between uh, the switches and a expensive network card if you have one in, say, a server, which supports LACP, but typically it's used to connect switch to switch. Okay, so uh, more more traffic between the switches, uh, better reliability, better availability. So those are the, those are the benefits. Okay, why use LACP? Now LACP ensures that you have uh, agreement between the switches, that both ends of the switch, uh, both switches, at each end of the links, agree to be part of the LACP group. You can, uh, by using LACP, um, by bundling links together, you don't necessarily have to have a, uh, a, a bulk upgrade. If you've got unused ports on your switch and you want to have a, you find your trunk links uh, don't have enough uh, capacity, bundle, bundle those links together with the unused ports and you can have a, a scaled and incremental growth rather than having to fork out for new switches or uh, have a a new module installed to upgrade that links from say 100 meg to a gig we can go from 100 meg to 200 meg to 400 meg and then finally if we need to we can jump to a gig uh, at the moment uh, uh, LACP does not work on gig ports so it's 100 meg only there's a couple of rules which need to go through so we need to have uh, full duplex only full duplex we've got to have the same module speed, VLAN, and uh, so just think of uh, LACP, think everything has to be the same. So every member of the, every group in the bundle has to have the same, be on the same module. For example, if I show you here, this would be one module at the top, this would be a second module at the bottom, this would be one module, this would be a second module. They have to be same module to the same module. You can't split them up it's got to be uh, nice and simple, one module to another module. Now you can have one module to another module, and then the second one you can have one module here to the second module, that's just fine. But uh, keep it simple, uh, uh, just module to module. You can have multiple modules uh, linked to other switches, but they've all got to go from the same place to the same place. Okay. The VLAN is quite important. They have to have a VLAN in common. So, uh, typically, you'll be using uh, tagged ports, 
and uh, tag ports n normally tend to be members of say uh, a bunch of different VLANs and as long as the ports have a VLAN in common that's just fine so typically all ports are members of VLAN 1 anyway so if you leave them at that default they should be fine a couple of other rules I can think of so uh, it's best to set up the um, set up LACP and then configure your cable so here we can see we've only got one cable if I was to go ahead and connect the redundant cable straight away explanatory protocol will kick in or we get a broadcast or one of the two and it, you know so set it up first then connect the cables uh, don't use port security port security can't be used with LACP ports so if you have port security enabled on your uh, bundle ports it won't work S-Ring, uh, there's another video on S-Ring which is Garrett proprietary uh, take on um, um, using spanitary protocol, a variant of spanitary protocol in a ring there's a video on that as well uh, but S-Ring and LACP are not compatible the reason being is that S-Ring utilizes the uh, messages used by LACP so the two aren't compatible um, Finally, the primary port, we'll talk about what makes a primary port later, is the port which we'll use for unknown unicast traffic, for broadcast traffic, and for IGMP traffic. And we'll talk about how that's elected uh, a bit later on. Okay, so uh, LACP is fairly straightforward to uh, understand what it's doing and to configure, but it's a bunch of rules to it, so you've got to follow the rules before it will work. And uh, we'll talk. You, we've we've covered those now. You can always rewind the video and cover them again, make a note of them. And we're going to walk you through the setup now. So uh, let's get back to the command. Okay, so we're back at the command line. And to do any LACP work, you just need to go into the LACP mode. And there we are. And let's have a look around, see what commands we have here. So we have uh, LACP, and this is used to enable or disable LACP on a switch. So uh, let's go and enable LACP. LACP enable and let's go to uh, what else do we have we have add delete and edit so all we're really doing is adding ports to a group uh, so um, let's do that now but before I do I mentioned that they had to be full duplex right now uh, let's go and change the uh, the speeds on those ports so that they are full duplex and they're 100 meg and auto negotiations disabled by hard coding everything we know exactly where we stand so what I'm going to do is I'm going to back out of here and go into device and here we can go to the set port and uh, here we can do we can do the speed duplex and the rest of it so set port uh, port equals in this case we're using ports 5 and 7 or no forgive me on this particular switch we're using ports 1 and ports 3 so we'll change those now ports 1 and 3 speed equals 100 duplex equals full Do you remember all full duplex only uh, auto negotiation we might as well go ahead and disable that you hard code it you know exactly where you, you stand all these other options flow control back pressure we'll cover those in a, another video and that's that done okay now we can go into LACP and we've, all, we've already enabled LACP so we want to add and let's cover the syntax for that so we want to add what ports we want to add we want to add ports 1 and 3 ports 1 and ports 3 uh, priority the priority will dictate who becomes the uh, primary port now that's important because the primary port is used to carry the unknown unicast the broadcast and the IGMP traffic which okay you might think well do I need to know about that the only time you really becomes an issue is when you want to do port mirroring if you want to see what traffic is being sent out that link uh, it's best to mirror the uh, pri um, the primary port in the bundle um, and the primary port is the one with the priority, the lowest priority, which you can set here. They default to 32,768 by default. Uh, so if you leave them at the defaults, uh, which is you know which is just fine in this case, um, then the one which is connected first will become the primary. The one which connects secondary will be the backup. If the primary dies, the secondary becomes the primary and so on and so forth but you can state that if you want by using the priority command 
priority option within the command and that's what that's there for. So we won't do that now. We're just going to add ports 1 and 3. They've been added successfully. If we wanted to edit that, say uh, remove ports from a particular group or, or increase the priority of port 1, say, we could use that command. And of course, the delete command is there if we want to delete a port group or take somebody out, that type of thing. So what else do we have to cover? So um, that's it for now. Uh, so we want to go uh, exit that and show LACP and we see the link down status. We can see that port 1's in and port 3's in there as well and the default priorities as I said and it's currently linked down. So what we need to do now is we need to hop over to the server switch, uh, get that one set up and um, then we can see the link come up and see yeah, the link in action. Okay, so I'm just going to move my console cable across and just pop that in there. Console cables across, go back to the command line, let's log in quickly, manager, manager, LACP, uh, LACP enable, add, which ports we want to add. This time the ports are, uh, are different, so just make sure you're very careful. Probably the hardest part of this is making sure you pick the right port number. Um, so this is port number 5 and this is port number 7 just because of this the way the switch is uh, numbered because uh, of the modules which have been installed uh, only because the ST ports take up two port spaces that's why that is so there's number 1, number 2, number 3 top, there's no number 4, 5, 6, 7 so we want ports 5 and port 7 so port 5 and port 7 successfully added and we didn't uh, hard code the uh, speed in duplex and stuff, so let's do that now. So set port, port equals 5 comma 7, speed equals 100, duplex equals full. And the uh, auto negotiation, we want to disable that. And that's done now. Now we want to remember the golden rule, configure then connect. So let's go ahead and connect the cables. We're going to connect uh, ports to port 7 and we haven't got span tree enabled now and it shouldn't really matter because these are considered as one logical group now so if we show LACP look, all done, everyone's happy so we see that uh, the primary port is number 5 and the member port is number 7 and we've got a trunk is active and great, let's hop over to the other switch um, so if we turn it across, 192.168.40.2, just in case you didn't see the previous video, the switches are numbered 192.168.40.1 and .2. So we'll turn it across, give it a moment or two, log back in, manager, and a bit of delay because we're uh, turning from the switch via a console. So show LACP. And here we have chunks come up. So that covers uh, how to set up LACP, the rules behind it, and uh, a demonstration showing you in action. So uh, let me see if I can think of something to show you the benefit. Okay, so I'm going to back out of that one. Uh, I'm actually going to chicken out at this point. Um, the reason being is that I found it hard enough to generate enough traffic. Um, no, I was, let me see if I can. Bear with me one second. No, I'll change mine again, sorry. Um, so basically, uh, it'll be difficult to replicate and show the benefit of it with just a bunch of laptops. Uh, uh, it'll involve quite a, me setting up quite a few of those and it would be a bit of an awkward demonstration and it's going to take too much time. So um, just understand that ACP can allow you to group those links together between your switches so that if you find that 100 meg is not cutting the mustard, uh, bundle another unused link in there and it gives you a, a 200 meg and then a, a 300 meg and then a 400 meg pipe. There's only You can only have up to four uh, 100 meg ports together in a bundle uh, but it gives you a bit of uh, extra growing room uh, to allow your network to grow a bit more organically as it's, uh, as the years roll on. So um, yep, yeah, that's LACP. I hope this has been interesting and helpful and on behalf of uh, Garrettcom I'd like to thank you for your time. Goodbye.